What do I think about Eno? What do I think about Eno? I think... I think Eno is like, okay. I don't think she's like, insane. That's, that's my impression of her. I was saying like, all throughout this week, I was complaining. And I was just like, yo, I fucking am annoyed by this character and her lack of neutral. Like... That's probably, like, the vibe that I get when I play this character. It's just, like, the fact that I'm literally, like, confused as to what to do in the neutral. But the more I play, the more I realize, like, you just gotta throw shit out, honestly. She's not a bad character. Like, the more that I play this character... And play people every day. The more I realize that this character has like some options. She's not garbage. The issue is her movement. Her movement is probably the like low key one of the the issues with her, and her shoddy neutral. But I understand why they did that because they gave her this. And having that, you you can't be bad with a 11 frame command grab that's zero after the flash you you just can't be that you you can't be a bad character with something like this i think especially since they removed a lot of other options i think this this is like she has one of the best 6ps in the game i think her 6p is probably really strong uh, the mix up is like whatever like it you basically have to mix up your options as to if the opponent is gonna like jab you, you could back dash right you you gotta mix up your options obviously which is what you do with every character uh i think her difficulty is high because of the fact that her neutral is kind of like you just throw shit out and her defensive options are not like great but you literally gotta do this I find myself mashing 5P versus her a lot. Yeah. But then they then they do this. I'll show you. It's not a bad option, King John. It stops the scrubby shit. So basically, if I see that you're gonna jab, I gotta do 2K. After my jump K, right? If I do dive kick, I'm negative. And if I, if I hop after it... You can take your turn. You can, hell, you can fucking punish me. See that? So, I gotta wait till I have me to the RC to so I'm plus, basically. And then, obviously, if I, like, get this, you, you can't jab. Like, if, it's, all, it's all a guess. You can't jab there. Right? So, she has options. She has options to deal with that shit. It's not like you could just mash jab and that's it. I honestly thought that in the beginning because I was getting frustrated and nobody really had like anything that they could do or tell me that was like ridiculous, you know? See that? You mash jab, I could fucking kill your ass, right? Like, but I just, I never get to this point because all the people I'm fighting so far don't understand how to fight her because no one's played this character. People think I don't understand this and how to and, and how to do this. I know how to do this. When I was linked that video in my YouTube channel, I was like, yo, why are you linking me? You don't need to tell me this shit at all. I know this shit already. I just never get a chance to do it. Because literally everyone's just not caring about the mix-up and they want to just jump. But yeah, like, that fuzzy is insane. And it works on counter. So, it's just like, she can't, she's not a bad character, bro. She's definitely not a bad character. I just think it takes a lot of work to play this character, just like it did in, in every other iteration. I'm just frustrated because for me, I'm, I have to, not only is this character like one of the hardest characters in the game to play with, but I have to learn how to navigate what's hard about her. Like, 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 I, I literally have to navigate the neutral that I don't know with a character that has subpar options in neutral. Like, subpar. Not terrible, but, like, she's not, like, Kai. She's not, like, Soul. She's not, like, 
uh, she's not like Milia, where they have like mobility and buttons, right? Her, like, she has this, which is not bad. She has tools, but they're unorthodox tools. Like, they're just like unique as fuck, you know? And her rushdown, the way she has to approach her rushdown, she has to take mad risks and put mad shit on the screen. It's just. It's definitely like. It's definitely like very hard to understand. And then I, I'm. Again, I'm. I'm a new player to Guilty Gear. Like, I, I've played fighting games, but I don't have the legacy skill. So I'm learning all of that, too. I think the one the, the one other issue is this. Yeah, Chemical Love. Chemical Love whiffing, un, like, when people run under is fucking annoying. But I understand what they wanted to do with this move. They wanted you to use this move to whiff punish people. They wanted you to use Chemical Love to whiff punish people with this shit. I don't use it as often to anti your people i i use it to whiff punish people now like if, if it's a check like if i see soul do this or with a button in neutral i just do chemical love and now i get the knockdown i just take the screen space or i throw i throw my my note and then get get in you know like every time i get a knockdown so to, for me like this move i understand its purpose now it's annoying that it whips on crouch sometimes. I mean, for conversions, yeah, but I feel like if you're playing Eno, like your conversion, you could get this like from further away. But honestly, like you should be doing this, like every time. You should just be trying to get the sweep for the hard knockdown. You're just trying to assert dominance with the the fucking mix up. That's what you need to be doing. Like that's your that's your actual like goal. Speaking of, I gotta figure out like. A conversion off of this. Cause I don't know what to do. Guess I get that. Uh, what's happening? I'm all right, Killer King. I'm just chilling. I'm vibing right now. I'm glad you calmed down because honestly, Eno is not as bad as you were making her out to be before. No, she's not that bad. But I do think that people literally don't know how to fight her. I win. Um, I, it doesn't feel great when I win because people don't know how to beat my character. It doesn't feel great when that happens. It feels great when I know someone's going to do something and I stop them for it. That shit feels amazing. That's why, like, some matches, I, I was like, okay, like, he knows how to deal with my shit. I'm just going to adapt. And when I did that, like, it felt good. That's what I want every time when I play this game. I want I want to adapt to what my opponent's doing to me. But I just don't like it when I beat people because they don't know what I'm doing. I, I should like it, but, like, I don't want to gimmick people out. I want people to know so I win clean, you know? That's my shit. So, like... The fact that there's not that many Eno players is like, it it sucks because not many people are going to understand how to fight her, and I feel like when people do, it's going to be even tougher. Obviously, you adapt, but like, it's just like, I know it's going to take time for people to understand how to fight Eno, and I think like, even with that, you still have a lot of things. In a way, like, I figure it out, like, just like everybody else, she has a lot of ways to like, make you think about situations. So, is Eno a bad character to start Guilty Gear with? No, you pick who you like. Like, you 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 pick who you who you like. You pick who you like, yo. Like, don't pick a character because it's like, oh, I want to start out. I picked Eno because I wanted to fuck the girl. I didn't pick her because oh, I want to learn Guilty Gear. How to like like. What's the character to learn Guilty Gear with? So you should just pick what you like. I I, I picked Eno because I'm a fucking coomer. But you could pick her if you like the character. It, if, if you want to learn Guilty Gear, pick who you like. Because you're going to be sitting there for like hours playing that character. And you're not going to want to fucking... Like I, as much as I could play Soul... I don't need to play Soul. I, I I don't need to. Like, with the way he is right now, like I know I could pick him up, and it'll only take me a few days to cook people because the character's mad easy. 
So like, why would I want to have fun playing this character? Oh, because he, he can win? Okay. But like, what if I just want to like, play the game with the character that I like? I, I never pick up, fight. me personally, I never pick up fighting games and just pick the top tier character. I pick the character that I like to pick. If they happen to be good, then they're good. If they're not good, fuck it, right? When I picked Nash, I picked him because I liked him, and he happened to be top tier in, in Street Fighter V, and then they Capcom get dicking him over and over, so I'm like, where's my? Where's another character that I want to play that I would like to play? And I picked G, I was like, yo, G's cheap, but I like how he looks. I like that he dances and shit. And then I'm like, this is not really the character I like. And then I, I got my main from Street Fighter 4. I picked Poison, and I never stopped playing her since. You literally, you literally just pick the character you like, and then learn the game, picking that character. Just, just do that. You know, it's stressful if you start out with Eno because there's shit that's unorthodox. But I'm doing it. You could do it too. I guess it's, it's kind of disingenuous for me though because I've been playing fighting games for so long that I, that I have some knowledge about how about some fundamentals, but I don't have Guilty Gear Legacy knowledge, so. You just gotta, that, that's the other thing too. You don't wanna pick a character and then switch to a different character while you're learning Guilty Gear, I think. Because if you do that, you now have to learn all of the interactions that that specific character gets in Guilty Gear uh, with every character, every other character. You don't wanna juggle that shit. Did your stance change a bit on about Eno as of now? Uh, she is, I think she's like okay. Daru Eno says that she's mid-tier. I don't think that Eno is uh, bad. I don't think she's top-tier, but I don't think she's bad. That's probably what I'd have to say. But I think people legit just don't know how to fight this character. There's definitely, like, a lack of Eno players. Like, if I were to go into the ranking, the fact that I'm, like, the 14th top Eno makes no fucking sense. Like, the rank doesn't mean much to me, by the way, because literally, like... It's cool to see my shit there, but, like, it's so easy to get that shit. It's, it's just how many wins you get, right? So, the fact that, like, there's not many Eno players at all within the player ranking should tell you that the character is hard. And that she's, like, she's hard to pick up. Like, everybody's playing, like, Ram, May, Milia, Soul. See, like, those, Geo, like, those are the characters, right? Because they're easy to pick up and play. But, like, if you go to Eno, I'm going to scroll down. How many people are really playing Eno right now? How many people are playing Eno right now? There, there's, there, there I am. Not that many. Only 92 people. And some of these dudes don't even play fucking Eno. That's why, that's why you literally just see that they changed their character and they just played them. And then they just left. So really, it starts like here. So there's not, there's actually not that many people playing this character. So ooh, that should tell you something. That should tell you that like the character's hard. That should tell you like 92 people in heaven at least. I mean, yeah, but those are the those are the high level Eno players. So yeah, there's like 30 people in heaven that play Zato. So it's like. The character's hard. You're gonna have to fucking spend time. Not many people see the character as strong right now. And they're they're not wrong. She's not she's not like top tier. You're not gonna pick her up and then win a fucking tournament off of her alone. Soul is a character that you could do that with. Like free. Like we don't don't even argue with me. That that's a character you could pick him up and win a tournament. I I would rather I would rather somebody be honest like me. Like I'd rather tell you straight up, like, this is my experience with the character. I was frustrated playing the character starting out. But as I keep playing, I'm getting better and learning what to do with the character. And I realize that the character is not that bad, but she's not a character you could just pick up and win a tournament with. I would rather somebody say that to me than somebody say, oh, she's mad, go pick her. Oh, she's, she's, she's like... Stop it. It's day, it's, day, it's day one. It's week one. Like, don't worry. Like, she's okay. Like, I would rather not lie to people, you know? Like, that's what people would tell me. Like, oh, it's week one. You don't know shit. Like, I'm, I'm gonna just tell you. I'm gonna keep it real with you. The character is whatever. Like, she's 
she's like okay like she's not terrible but she's not fucking top tier like if you want to win a tournament you pick the characters that win tournaments but if if you're trying to play the long game and be a better player then you pick what you like and learn the game off of what you like that's what you do and if Eno is a character you like, then you're going to have to learn the game through Eno and her unique playstyle, and then you're going to eventually get better. It's just, it, it just takes time. Yeah, if you want to play Eno, man, I, I, I mean, honestly, again, you play who you like. You play who you like, but if... I was really close to switching to Milia, because I'm like, this shit is so hard to understand. But after talking to Lord Knight and then talking to, to Brandon, to my, to my friend, like, I realized, like, nah, like, I gotta, like, just change how I'm approaching the game on a mental level. The, the game is just annoying as fuck. What the fuck, bro? This, you see? This game is annoying as fuck. You see this shit? This is the annoying part of the game. It's not even playing the game. It's this. When the game fucking soft locks. I didn't even want to go into replay. It's this bullshit. When the game hangs, communicating with server, it fucking soft locks, the game crashes. Yo, fuck this shit, bro. All I want to do is just see if I have birthday train and then stop playing the game because I want to eat something. Like, yo, like, this, this shit, bro, that's the most annoying part about this game. It's not even the fucking game and learning it. It's the fact that the game takes forever to load when it is fucking communicating with server, it takes forever. And then the fucking game can fucking crash and soft lock. Fuck that, bro. That shit is annoying, bro. Yeah, you can get soft locked when you're fucking updating your ranking, when you're going up floors. They need to fix that, bro. This shit is buggy as fuck. Now we gotta wait mad long 